Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top six uh, most anticipated mystery novels that are coming out for the entire year of 2022. These are really exciting ones. They are ones in continuing series that I absolutely adore, that are very well loved and raved about. I'm sure a lot of you will recognize some of them. So I wanted to share these as kind of like a top six for the whole year. Um, the last two, definitely make sure you watch till the end, are going to be brand new series, but the first four are all from ongoing series that are super highly rated and I can attest are really amazing. So let's go ahead and hop into our very first book. So our first book is called The Burning Pages, a Scottish bookshop mystery. This is by Paige Shelton and this is book seven in the series. It's going to be coming out April 5th, which seems like a very long time to wait. I was introduced to this series last year and I read through every Every single book up until this new book of course and they're incredible absolutely incredible so basically the quick premise is that our main character Delaney she has moved from like the mid the middle of the United States I think I want to say like Kansas or somewhere in like just kind of the mid United States and she has moved to Scotland to work in this really quirky fun bookshop with her eccentric boss Edwin who also has like this treasure room with all these different things that she's going through and kind of archiving and assessing the value of so there's like there's like maps there's old furniture there's old books I mean it's like a treasure haven for people who really love bookish um, things that are old and valuable and it leads to a lot of cool like historical like historically tied in mysteries which I really like and yeah so I'm really excited this particular book it takes place where her, uh, she is invited to this like party that's celebrating Robert Burns and so she takes her co-worker Hamlet which amazing name who is a, a really sweet a younger guy and she takes him to the party but they end up finding out there's like an ulterior motive for them being there because one of the other guests had accused their boss Edwin a long time ago of actually burning down their bookshop which is of course a super serious accusation uh, that I'm sure that conflict didn't go so well because if someone accused me of burning someone's place down and I didn't do it Ooh, that would be <laughs> that would be hard to look uh, overlook um, but so her and uh, Hamlet end up like exiting early only to find out later that someone actually burnt down like the house where the party was being hosted so now Delaney is trying to figure out who did it and in the process she discovers that her co-worker Hamlet actually had a pretty good reason like a motive for doing so so she's kind of in disbelief she knows he couldn't have done it but she's got to clear his name figure out who did it and find it maybe also I'm hoping to find out who actually burnt down the shop in the first place so this one just sounds amazing I could not recommend this series enough and this will be out in April this year so our next one is called Strawberry Alive you're gonna love this if you're a culinary cozy mystery fan and this is part of the Baker cupcake bakery mystery series by Jen McKinley absolutely adore this series. This one has been featured in my top five cozy mysteries for beginners which you can check out above here. This book is coming out on May 3rd of this year and it is book 14 in the series so if you like this book or you want to start reading this series you have some time to do so. This is an amazing series. The main character's name is Mel and she's just recently been married when one day she's just going about her business and someone actually takes a shot at her. Now, um, I'm not going to go into too many details in case you haven't read the rest of the series, but some of the people in her life, including her now husband, have some connections to like police work or lawyer work or stuff like that that kind of makes some of their loved ones a target in some of these books. So they're wondering at first, is it that? And then other business owners around her town are also beginning to be harassed or there's attempts on their lives as well. So there's just this big mystery going on about okay why are people trying to take out these like innocent you know everyday people who are just going about their lives running businesses in town and that's kind of the main mystery I would highly recommend this series if you love a culinary cozy mystery it's fantastic the characters are funny the side characters are so well developed in this book it's just it's so and it's so amazing and there's also recipes included in every book so if you are a recipe lover like myself you'll love these I have tried some of the recipes and they were really good so definitely check this one out so this next one I'm very excited for this is by possibly my favorite cozy mystery writer I mean that would be very hard to pick but 
possibly my favorite cozy mystery writer ever and this is by Reese Bowen. The title of this is called Wild Irish Rose and this is part of the Molly Murphy mystery series so if you love a cozy historical fiction mystery this will be right up your alley. Um, the beginning of the series starts uh, following Molly Murphy who is an Irish immigrant to uh, New York City and it's in the very early 1900s so there's a lot of prejudice against the Irish at this time. It's a very good historical fiction uh, series. I absolutely adore it. And this book is particularly fun because this is book uh, 18 in the series. So there are, there's a lot of this book if you really do enjoy it. These can all be read as standalones, as of course, if you just are interested in this particular book. But this is fun because her this book was is written by Reese Bowen, and this is the first one that's actually a collaboration between her and her daughter, whose name is, I'm going to look down so I can hopefully say it right, Claire Broyles, and I'm very excited for that. That sounds like a fun collaboration. I didn't, I don't know if her daughter is a writer of her like own accord or if she just is really fascinated with the series and helped her mom on this, I don't really know, but I thought that was a really neat fact. I think that the cover art is beautiful, is it not? So this is kind of a fun one because the beginning of the series starts with Molly's journey to America and her experience like on Ellis Island, which all the you know, immigrants had to pass through to get to America. And so in this one, she actually accompanies some friends, I guess, to Ellis Island. And she comes back home to her husband, who is on the police force. And it turns out that that same day that Molly was there, a murder occurred and the suspect is the splitting image of Molly. Now, of course, her husband knows it wasn't her, but she has to, like, she gets this feeling that she's got to find out who this woman is, what happened, why does, like, you know, just this, like, kind of uncanny similarities kind of throwing her for a loop. So it's kind of an interesting, like, journey back to the past for her, it sounds like, and I'm really excited for this. I, if you love historical fiction, I highly recommend this series. It's fantastic. It has such a beautiful like atmospheric writing tone so when you're you feel like you're walking the streets of New York in 1907 with Molly and it's just fantastic I really love it I love seeing the character develop each time highly recommend this series um, again this is a pretty pretty cozy mystery it's not like as cutesy or like humorous as some of the other ones are but it's definitely not like super graphic in any way. So our next book is coming out June 28th of 2022 and it is by Ellie Alexander. It's part of her Bake Shop mystery series which I just started last month and I've been loving. I'm already through the first two books. They're fantastic and they just keep getting better. Like it, it's definitely, an, I loved book one but book two got a five stars for me. It was just incredible. And this one is called Do Not Disturb. That's a little bit of a tongue twister there. And so the premise of this is that Jules is our main character and she helps her mother run their bake their family bake shop called Tort and really fun. The second book I just read was like in a competition style baking competition which was super fun. But this book here takes place during wedding season which is perfect because it's coming out in June. And she has her friend Carrie who is getting married and they're very excited and she's going to be catering the party there with desserts and whatnot. Um, and her friend's just kind of worried. She's having some relatives come into town that are kind of making her worry, putting her on edge, you know, all the stress before the big day, it completely natural, of course. And right before the wedding, her bassist for the wedding is found murdered, which of course sends Carrie into a frenzy that's not exactly what you want to happen to anyone at any point, but especially not right before the big day. So Jules is on the hunt to figure out what happened to this bassist and to unravel different family secrets and things that, you know, to bring to light different things that were in the spaceless life that led to their murder. So it sounds super interesting. Again, this is a fantastic culinary cozy mystery. I highly recommend it. It's not too, too overly cutesy, but there are some fun puns in there and the setting of the town is just beautiful. I love the relationship between Jules and her mother in the first few books that I've read so far absolutely adore it. So I can't wait to keep reading it. I'm hoping to catch up to the series. This is book 15, by the way. I'm hoping to catch up um, and read like the next 12 books in the series before this one so that I can read it on time. That is my goal. So we'll see. Okay, so this one was featured in my new January cozy mystery releases, which I'll have up here for you and in the description below if you want to check it out. However, I had to mention it again because this one is a completely brand new series coming out in 2022. It is coming out in January this month here, so you can 
access it very soon um, by the time this video is up and it's called Up To No Gouda and it's a grilled cheese um, grilled cheese mystery series. This is book one again. Book two will be coming out in 2022, so if you end up liking this, you won't have to wait long until the next one comes out, which is great. Yeah, this book is coming out January 25th, so you'll... I'll put the links down below if you want to pre-order it because it's coming out really soon. Um, and this is written by Linda Riley. And the main character's name is Carrie, and she is coming back to her hometown after her husband died, unfortunately. And she's pursuing her dream of opening a grilled cheese eatery, which I know a couple of you commented on that video saying that you had not been to a grilled cheese eatery, but you had like delis near you that made really good ones. So I'm now on the hunt for that myself because... That sounds great. Sign me up. Anything with cheese. And essentially she, the business is thriving. It's going really well. It's being received well. Her grilled cheese eater is going great. However, her landlord, who also happens to be her ex-high school sweetheart, um, is giving her a hard time and really just trying to throw a wrench in her plans and it, just being a jerk about everything. And unfortunately her um, ex-high school boyfriend is found dead behind a dumpster and one of her employees is the prime suspect in the case. So Carly then has to go on the case to clear the employee's name and kind of save her business from being really tainted with that murder and just, you know, to kind of avenge this person who was a significant part of her life at some point. So I'm very excited for this. I love the theme of this. I love culinary mysteries myself and then a grilled cheese one and this cover is absolutely to die for. It's so cute. So we'll move on to our last one now. So our last one is a new series as well. This one sounds really amazing. It's called Buy You a Book Thief and it's a vintage cookbook mystery by Ellen Byron and this is again book one in the series and this one just sounded really intriguing to me. Let me know what you think. So this book will be coming out on June 7th and our main character's name is Ricky James and she is a recent widow because her... I don't think she had the greatest relationship with her husband based on the name, but her husband was an actor and he did a bunch of like stupid, very risky stunts and I guess one of the stunts kind of got the better of him. So she's a recently... Uh, so she's a recent widow, basically. And it sounds like uh, Ricky has a very interesting backstory. So she goes back to... She goes back to New Orleans, which is the place where her teen mother gave birth to her, but abandoned her. And I guess the, and I the um, what do you call it? The newborn intensive care unit nurse who was taking care of Ricky as a child ended up adopting her. So it sounds like she has family in the area, and she ends up landing a dream gig for her. She ends up working at a culinary museum, which sounds really interesting. I don't, I've never been to one like that. And I love museums. Let me know if you've been to a culinary museum. That sounds absolutely incredible. And she ends up opening like a small shop within the culinary museum where she sells like cookbooks and different like vintage items and things. And she stumbles on this box of really valuable vintage cookbooks that she's super excited for. However, inside or like near the box, she finds a, as it says, cantankerous, um, troublemaking ex-employee of this culinary museum who had been fired because they were a book thief. And so Ellen is, or I'm sorry, and so Ricky is on the case trying to figure out what happened to this employee and trying to kind of clear the museum of this drama and avenge the person who was murdered. So this one just sounded really interesting to me. I liked the idea of a vintage cookbook series and I liked the backstory. They had already fleshed out so much of her backstory with her being abandoned by the teen mother. I don't know if they're gonna ever go into that. I hope they do because that sounds that's kind of a unique premise, I think. So I'm I'm interested in that. Let me know down below what are your most anticipated reads of 2022. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love mystery content, I post mystery content every single week on my channel. My name is Amy Murray, and I would love it if you did stick around, hit like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what your most anticipated reads are. I'd be I'm dying to know because these are just a couple of my favorites that I'm really looking forward to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.